Hi, good morning, everybody. Sometimes you just need a really great dip. Well, I've got one for you today. This one is absolutely perfect uh, for, you know, munching on during the big game, perfect during movies, having the girlfriends over. I also love it because it's just so easy. Just doesn't get much easier than this. It's an old family favorite. It's a dip that my grandmother made for us years ago. Make it for your family. They're going to love it. Okay, just a few ingredients, too. Got to love that. And it's a make-ahead, too. You can make it in the morning, park it in the refrigerator, and then just bake it right before you're ready to eat. So it starts out with two blocks, two 8-ounce blocks of cream cheese. And I like to soften it a little bit if you have the time to pull it out and just let it soften on the counter for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. If not, you could pop it into the microwave out of the package, of course, just for, you know, 10, 15 seconds or so. So two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. And I'm putting that into a nice size casserole dish that's been sprayed with cooking spray. That way there's no mess. Okay, so one and then two. Anybody can make this dip. This is fun if you've got to bring something to a party. This is perfect. And then you can bake it right there. Okay. In you go. This is the hardest part of the recipe, getting the cream cheese out of the package. Promise you. So then you're just going to take that cream cheese and press it into the bottom of your pan. Press it in there. This could have been a little bit softer, but you get the idea. Okay, now we're ready for the next layer. I've got two cans, 15-ounce cans of no bean chili. Even if you like beans in your chili, you don't want to use the bean can for this recipe. It just doesn't turn out quite the same. I'm just going to get that chili out of there and spoon it right on top, trying not to mix it with the cream cheese. Just kind of want to get it on there. Dump it right over, and then I'll spread it out with a spatula. So two cans. Got one right now in the oven, and it's starting to smell good. Okay, spread that right over that cream cheese. And now we've got some shredded cheddar cheese on top couple cups of that right on top and that's it that is it I told you this was easy and it's always nice if you have a couple cans of chili on hand or a block of a couple blocks of cream cheese in your refrigerator company stops over um, you can whip this up in no time love that okay there we go into a preheated 350 degree oven this takes about 15 to 25 minutes to bake you want everything to be nice and bubbly let me show you You can even broil it toward the end if you want, just to make sure that cheese is just melty and wonderful. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. serve this with a big, and we're talking, look at this. We got a monster bowl of chips. Now, if you want to dress it up for game day, you know, we love our green and gold. This is totally optional, but we can throw some green and gold diced peppers on top and some scallions, too. Doesn't that look good? Go pack. We love our pack. It's my hot chili and cheese dip. Recipe's on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods.